Hi, I'm Simon Wolf, President and CEO of Wolf Designs, and it's my pleasure to show you some of the features of the 4.1 system of watch winders. The unique feature of the 4.1 watch winders is the way that they connect together. And that's achieved by using this little joint here, and the joint will slide into either the top, bottom, or either two sides of the watch winder. I'm just going to demonstrate how that works. Take the joint, you slide it into place here, you take the winder that you're adding to the collection, and you just slide that right into place. And as your collection of watches grows, you can buy more of the 4.1s and just continue expanding your collection. To power your winder, you'll need an AC power adapter. We supply you with one of those. This end goes in the wall and the other end goes into the back of the watch winder itself. As I said to you earlier, you can connect a multitude of winders together. So in order for you to do that using only one power source, we supply you with a bridle. And you can see these bridles connected together here. All you do is you take the last bridle and you put the uh, adapter cable into that last one. And you can actually go up to a total of 12 winders using only uh, one power source. Now that you have power coming to the winder, you want to go ahead and put the watch onto the cuff. And I'm going to show you how that works. Just remove the glass front here, pull the cuff out, and you'll notice the cuff depresses. And that's incredibly useful because what you want to do is slide your watch over the cuff, center it, and you'll see that it holds it nice and snug and in place. And then you just go ahead and insert it back inside the drum, and you hear it, you'll hear it click into place. And now it's locked inside the drum, and it's safely uh, and securely there. Now that the watch is safely inside the drum, you'll want to go ahead and turn the unit on. That's done by turning the right-hand knob here, one click to the right. Now that your watch wind is turned on, you want to select how many turns per day the watch rotates. We recommend you contact the watch brand to determine how many turns per day your watch should rotate. Turns per day is controlled by the little button here to the right and to the left of the LCD readout. The button on the right increases turns per day and the one on the left decreases turns per day in increments of 50. And we actually start at 300 turns per day and go all the way up to 1200 turns per day. Now that you've selected turns per day, you want to select the direction with uh, which the watch turns. And there are three settings that are controlled by the left-hand knob here. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, and bi-directional. One thing to remember, in the bi-directional setting, if you've um, selected, let's say, 800 turns per day, you'll see the watch winder turn 800 clockwise and then 800 anti-clockwise turns for a total of 1,800 turns that day. If your watch is fully wound or has a power reserve, you'll probably want to use the great additional feature that we've engineered into our watch winder. We call it the start delay, and it's controlled by the on-off knob here to the right. Turn it all the way to its lowest setting. Now you can have the watch winder pause from anywhere from six hours to 72 hours before it starts working. So let's say you have a watch that has a power reserve of 24. You can select 24 hours, and the watch winder will be asleep effectively for 24 hours, and then it'll start its rotation programming. To select how many uh, hours pause, you can use these two buttons here to the right and the left of the LCD readout. It goes up and down in increments of six hours. So let me tell you about the rotation programming. Everything works on a 24 hour cycle. And in the first six hours or so, you see a lot of activity when the watch winder is turning itself on and off. In the subsequent 18 hours, there's inactivity. If you choose higher turns per day, you'll see much more activity in the first six hours than if you've chosen lower turns per day. One thing to remember though, if you see the green light flashing, it means the watch wind is working perfectly and it's on. So I hope this information was informative for you. If you've got any further questions, you can go to our website. We've got a great FAQ um, uh, section there. You can also send us an email, or you could call the office and speak to some of the folk there. Thanks very much for listening. Goodbye.